our kina and on the last definition in the infrared, I'll be taking you through the operations of the alpha. So before operating the alpha, you have to make sure all the cables are connected correctly and the UPS is connected. Once you have made sure all the cables are connected correctly, you switch on the UPS, which will automatically switch on the alpha instrument. And after switching on the alpha instrument, you go to the OPAS software. After opening the OPA software, we have the desiccants that must be regenerated in the oven at 105 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. At the back, we have four screws over here. You take your screwdriver and you open the nuts. After you have opened the screws, we have the used desiccants, which we will replace with the regenerated desiccants. And also we do have our light source here, which we are supposed to replace between three to five years. You tilt back the instrument, and you have to wait for around 30 minutes where the instrument is going to turn green. When it turns green, it shows that the desiccants have been regenerated. So after the light has turned green, you have to go now to your software and perform the, val the validation. You have to insert the alpha cup holder and then you push it in until it's far at the end, until you cannot feel any movement. You go to validation and then you run OVP which is operation validation program and then you click on it We do our test. We have two tests. We have the PQ which is the performance qualification and we have the OQ which is the operations qualification For the PQ you run it weekly for the o OQ you run it every year. So you check You put a tick on the performance qualification and you go to the run selected tests and then you click on continue, which is going to run the performance qualification test. So after the instrument has completed running the performance qualification, you can see here we have our report and you can tell the overall test results has passed. So the instrument is good to go for analysis for sample analysis. Also, as you're running the performance qualification test, sometimes it can fail. And when it fails, it will indicate here, as you can see, the overall test results has failed. And it, if it shows you the overall test results has failed, you have to look back and check whether you generated the desiccant correctly. And also, when you are doing the performance qualification test, make sure you don't move the gold cup from the machine. After the performance qualification has passed, we recommend appropriate use of e-craft experimental method for OPAS lab and OPAS for sample analysis and also depending on the accessory used. After that, you have to you go here to the advanced data collection icon, you double click and then you confirm whether the method that you are using is the correct method. For us, it's the e-craft drift zinc selenide, which is the correct method. You accept the method. And after you have accepted the method, you go to the OPAS lab, which is here on the icon. Double click on the OPAS lab, and then you go here to the product setup. You double click on the product setup. You, go, you come here to the storing option. In the storing option, you must have created a folder where you want your files to be saved. So yeah, I'm going to browse here and look at where I'm going to have saved my file. E-craft, measurement, raw data, drift selenide, and then I'm going to confirm whether the folder or the file is here. Yes, it is. This is the correct one. I'm going to double click on it and then say OK. So it has picked the correct file. And then I'm going to save and go back. So after you have saved your file, you come to the measurement icon, you double click on it, and then you come to the start button, 
and then you double click on it. Now we are ready to analyze our sample. But before analyzing our sample, you have to measure the background, which is the reference cup. So you have to place the reference cup in the cup holder. And then push it back and then measure your background. It normally takes 32 scans for analysis, which is around 30 seconds. In the upper slab, we have all these icons. We have experiment, background, multi-evaluation, quant, ident, storing option, product info, and log and report. For the, in the experiment, you click. We have the experiment. We have sample accessory, which is the zinc selenide alpha drift front reflectance, which is this one. And in the experiment, this is the method that was selected in the opus. It's the same method that you're going to use in the opus lab, which is the ECRAF drift zinc selenide. On the background icon, we have the measure background. We normally use the measure, we normally measure the background, which is valid for four hours. And that's why you can see it is active. And in the same, we have here the product group, which is soil. It can be soil, it can be plant, it can be organic matter. So you have to select the type of sample you analyze, you're analyzing. For us, we are doing soils now. You have to click on the soil, and then you go to save. After you're finished measuring the background, which takes 30 seconds, go to continue sample measurement, and then you start. So you're going to remove your gold cup from the cup holder, and you return it back. And then you're going to take your sample holder, which has your sample, which is soil. And for the soil, the sample has to be ground to 0 0.05 millimeter in a steel cup, like this one. And then you place it into the sample holder. And when you're loading your sample, you have to make sure the sample is even on the top. And then you place the sample in the machine nicely, and then you close. And then you come here to the sample description. And when before you do the sample description, each sample has a unique sample ID. And we normally use a recording sheet, which has a QR code and a QR scanner. So you're going to scan the first QR code representing the first sample, which has appeared here on the sample description one. I'm going to click on the measure icon, which is going to take 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we have our spectra over here. As you can see, this is a good spectra, but you have to be on a lookout. We highly recommend you review your spectrums before further processing to help monitor water, moisture, peaks which, is at, which are normally at 3,960 to 3,480 centimeters wave band, wave band and 500 centimeters wave band. And also, you have to be on a lookout for CO2, carbon dioxide, which is around 2,361 to 2,339 centimeters wave numbers, which is here, as part of the quality control. The spectra data generated from the instrument are saved and further processing using shared C4 aircraft spectral processing and analysis tools and methods. Check out for the same on our website link. So when you want to power off the instrument, you go to the upper software, you shut it down, and then you go to the UPS, you shut the UPS, the UPS down, which will automatically shut down the upper instrument. This is important to maintain high signal and noise ratio when operating the instrument.